how I stopped playing Clash of Clans despite being evicted in parenthesis cold turkey I mean I got my ideas thing here so I'm going through it so I can you know record a quick video so I can get like my hundred videos I can edit etc etc uh, uh, uh. how I stopped playing Clash of Clans I was addicted to Clash of Clans before and I'm putting the video up as well I mean being addicted to Clash of Clans and it was quite a frustrating time to be in because like I knew I was wasting a lot of time and I would just like I wouldn't really do anything I would just stare at my base for a good minute and be like what the fuck am I doing and it would really be unhealthy and painful for me and like I always think to myself like what am I really doing like how how am I spending all my hours playing Clash of Clans? Like it's just, game, video game addiction is real, ladies and gentlemen. It's very very real. And it plagues millions of people worldwide, millions of people. And I wanted to provide like through my experiences, try to provide a clear cut way and how I did it. I think I did a cold turkey because like I knew I I thought I would rebound, but I, I did install it recently again. I'm in truth. But then I kind of just I upgraded my buildings. I got my my money. I upgraded my buildings. All the tough buildings. And I just delete it. I'll probably do that regularly every six months maybe something crazy every few months I'll do that um, I went from 2,800 uh, trophies to 2,000 trophies I lost 800 trophies so my, my motivation to play the game is minus zero like it's fucking pointless I don't see a point playing the game I'm actually quite happy not playing the game quite happy like just chill whatever do whatever the fuck I want to do play Apex Legends like a dickhead I, I, I was planning to play Warframe before, like a Warframe stream, but it just did not hit the same, like, I was so happy just to log off and log on Warframe, cause, uh, Apex, because there was an update going on at the time. Um, anyways, how I stopped playing was just uninstalling for a good while, and then trying to get busy with other shit, and trying to replace, fall into routine, and trying to replace that bullshit activity of, oh, yeah, video games, ooh, ooh, with, like, more of, Productive, productive activities like you not know, reading, meditating, journaling, that type of thing. And I really, really try to just shift my attention away like, as much as I possibly could from Clash of Clans to that type of thing, which I would see benefit from. Which, honestly, I will be honest, I should provide a more clear cut, step by step guide on how I can do, I go about this. But in my opinion, what with one of these things when you're so addicted and you're so frustrated in your addiction. The best way to go about it is just to suffer the consequence of like how do you the um like the, the consequence of just not being in it like you know the con like, how do you what's it called again um drawback feedback like when you, when you're suffering from like alcohol alcohol drawbacks I'm not sure what do addicts feel after they try to quit but they can't quit. Was it cord? Addiction drawback. I wish I was addicted to making money or something. That'd be fucking nice. Anyway, I don't know what it's called. I'm just calling it a drawback. Um, yeah, that's how I stopped. And I'm, I'm honestly like, even when my buildings finish, I doubt I'm gonna come back for a very long time. And I'm gonna try to keep it that way. I'm not gonna try. I am gonna keep that way. The way the fuck. I don't know why I'm like I'm fucking second guessing myself. I'm, I'm not gonna uninstall it. That's it. Done. Boom. And I'm, I'm just gonna go cold turkey. I'm just never gonna play it again. And I did feel a bit of a drawback. Like, like looking at, like going shifting to my phone to where I placed the app, and looking at the page where I placed the app, and it was just so frustrating. Like seeing myself in a like, third person bit because I meditate and 
You kind of just see yourself for a moment, you know what I'm saying? I'm not like, oh, I'm meditating, I'm not, I can see it for the person, oh. No, it's just like, it makes you a bit more aware of the situation, just a bit more. I mean, I mean the truth. And seeing myself, like, getting addicted to this shit, it's just so fucking frustrating. Like, I, I saw myself go back, and I just, like, stood on focus with it, turned off, and I just, like, holy shit, I'm addicted to some fucking base building game. Like, what the fuck am I doing? I delete all my screenshots, all my memories from the game. I delete a fuck ton of screenshots. I delete probably like 20 gigabytes worth of screenshots total. And a good like 8 gigabytes. No, it was, I think it was 11 gigabytes was cash clad screenshots. Because they take like 10, 20, I think 50 megabytes a pop. Which is crazy. But the graphics were nice though. Really clean and crisp. But yeah, that's what that's why I, that's how I quit playing Clash of Clans despite being addicted. Go Turkey. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Hope that helped. Probably didn't. I'm dead serious. Probably didn't. You'll probably be like, oh Jimmy, you're a dickhead. How hard? Tell me the ways. Like I could tell you a step by step tutorial. I could tell you like a step by step way and how you could quit video games and like, quit this. But I think the best way to go about it is literally getting a hundred percent productive day. The more productive you are, making uh, productive could be sleep, bro. Productive could be meditating. Productive could be gratitude journaling. That's not necessarily difficult, is it? Productive also with work is like work that you have right as well. The good work that you don't like as well. This having discipline to do so. Do something you hate, like you love, right? And Mike has said, well, do the hard work, especially if you don't feel like it. That's discipline in a sense. Just doing that hard work and not following how you feel. Like you're gonna get those cravings. You're gonna get those drawbacks. You're gonna get them negative repercussions, but. And you're gonna feel frustrated like a dickhead and like fucking not good enough. But thing is, like the fact that you're even frustrated at your addiction, I think, is, I think is not it's not good enough, of course. But it's good in the sense that you're making slow but sure steps into getting into a better place. Like imagine you weren't frustrated at your addiction. Imagine you just didn't care. Like me right now, I kind of just don't care about the fact that I'm an apex legend addict until I'm actually talking about it, and then I feel like a fucking loser. Because I'm, I'm, I'm holding myself accountable with these videos. Like, like, imagine you didn't feel like a piece of shit playing video games all day. And it's like spending six hours on me playing video games. But I'm streaming. So I, I could be a streamer. And someone might give me money. Cope. Shut the fuck up, Jimmy. Shut the fuck up. Jesus Christ. Uh, Im imagine you didn't care. Like, you would just be back on it anyway. And, oh, I'm spending 20 minutes a day playing. And it's so quick. Like... Come on, bro. It's 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 not like that. You don't understand. It's not like that. It's it's something more. It's something more. Oh. Uh, so I quit. I blow for the day and just say I'm, I'm done video games. I'm just I long for the day I would say yeah. I I used to play video games and I'm not really gaming anymore. And I'm multi millionaire now. And I own a Rolls Royce. And I own a Ferrari. And I own a Ferrari eight twelve super fast. And I own a McLaren. 768 carbon classic orange black colorway Rolls Royce black interior maple interior maple or a the classic you know yellowish hue that it has just normal just a chill I long for that day you know, it's. I really, really like. I really love for that. I want just to reach that point where I'm just oh, happy with myself. I'm happy with my accomplishments. Like I'm, I'm truly at peace. You know, I was watching um, Top G on the Dark before, and like his manager, the tutorial shooter, was saying something like, there was a moment in which he was just laying down on the like the 
trampoline beds and he was like sleeping and he loved trampolines I've, I've seen him in the video loving smiling like a fucking dickhead being so happy on trampolines I thought it was so wholesome and he was jumping around you being oh you being and then he <laughs> in in the in the thing the story he was like oh and then we jump scared him but for a moment he stared into the sunset he turned off the phone he turned off everyone's phones the, view, the weather was so beautiful he stared into the sunset and it was a man truly at peace and honestly I was watching the videos back of the yacht and like the yacht the most important valuable thing from that yacht experience was like the peace I could see in that area like holy shit man like, motherfucker man like it was so peaceful in the yacht of Croatia like I with my tinnitus and everything, I often think to myself, like, how the fuck can I get that? But all I hear is just the soft, but strong enough to destroy my tinnitus. Uh, waves go by, appreciate nature, and motherfucker, man. I, my ears are so fucked, and it's so frustrating. I wish I could be normal. I have so many health conditions. I have so many underlying health conditions. I have so many this and that. And it's just painful just to go about and think about, like, fuck, man. I want to be normal, bro. Like, sorry, that's disgusting. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. I want to be normal. I want to. I want to be free. I want to be like. I want to be. Be able to hear. Like truly quiet moments like this one. It is overshadowed by my the ringing in my fucking ears, and I went to the NHS and it fuck oh fuck oh what the fuck can I do. And my friend was like, Tillis is permanent, you know? No, that's not true. I think it's less than a lot by now, but. Okay. Edging at me. I'm gonna. See you guys in the next video. Peace. I don't think I was gonna say. Hope that video helps.